Did you know, September the 28th 1066 is a very momentous day in history, this is William the Conqueror, who was once the Duke of Normandy, in northwestern France. On this day, he set foot in Pevensey Bay, in Sussex, beginning the Norman conquest of England a month later and most of all, he would do things that would change the course of British history, such as winning the Battle of Hastings, and becoming the King, of England. But you may be wondering, what mark did the Norman man leave? Have you ever seen castles or ever visited them in England? Well, it was William the Conqueror's idea that these great structures would be built as a strategy, to control his new realm to keep away the Anglo-Saxon population from their distress of his invasion. Ones such as Windsor Castle, where many monarchs have used for ceremonies and living, Dover Castle which is the biggest in the country and of course Pevensey Castle, built immediately, once he arrived. Another way, is before 1066, Anglo-Saxon women were allowed to own and inherit land, but this changed after the Normans invaded. Many Anglo-Saxon women inherited the land they lived on after their husbands and fathers died at the Battle of Hastings. William only allowed them to keep their land and home if they married a Norman. This put many women in a difficult position as forced marriages were designed to help the Normans control of England by taking ownership of their new wives' land. The women's previous husbands were seen as traitors for fighting against William, so if they refused to obey and marry a Norman, they would also be considered traitors. Having control of the church also meant having access to power, land and wealth. William waited until 1070 to make big changes to the church, beginning with replacing English bishops with Norman ones. The Normans also replaced the small, wooden Anglo-Saxon churches with much larger stone churches. They built huge cathedrals in major towns like London, Durham, and York, which could hold hundreds of people. These cathedrals were decorated inside with impressive religious art. The scale of these buildings gave a clear message about the power of the church in people's lives, and the leaders of the church were usually Norman. So William the Conqueror's rule didn't last forever of course, but that's the story of one of Britain's most notable rulers.